and dark. It took a bit longer than expected. I could really have taken the camera to the toilet, couldn't I? But this could be going too far. I am not uh, interested in going that far. Uh, so <laughs> now I'm recording on my old phone. <laughs> This is so funny to have two versions of myself, including this one here. Ah, I love technology. I love that. The videoing is brilliant. Why doesn't everybody use it to learn about themselves? I don't know. I can't quite see very much there. Alrighty. Uh, let's do for B, rather. Let's be. What about if I got a stool? This fire is not doing too well. Never mind. It's doing well enough. If I sit down, there's no access to the belly, is there? So we will move that. How long is that? 20 minutes. Because the battery is warm. The old Chinese phone, it didn't become so hot when it was being used. I hope this is not going to catch fire like the electric cars are doing. This is perfect. Oh no, it's not perfect at all, is it? <laughs> it's too, too. Okay, I'll come closer. All right. Uh, Still no belly, look, it's there. Oh, look, videoing in um, like proper TV mode is rubbish. There. Oh, there's only this one that's working. How can I do that? This is a very exciting video. I bet you've never watched anything as bad as this, Alexandra. I am not going to apologize for the lousiness of this video. This cushion is rubbish at uh, holding my camera. Let's put this piece of wood. We can rely on the wood. That's much better than bloody cushions, isn't it? Except. Except it's not going to stand straight, is it? Oh, this is so fucking boring. Oh, look, it's a joy of it all, isn't it? Well, that's better, but it has even less belly now. Okay. I'll shut this video. Now it was pointless watching it and waiting for me to come back to the toilet, wasn't it? I'll carry on with my old phone, which is doing wonders at being the wrong way up, so there's plenty of belly showing. Oh, actually it stopped, doesn't it? <gasps> Little fucker. How strange is that? There is something I heard today, which was a very inspiring story. <laughs> the story of someone I'm recording myself, so listening to it was recording on the other side. Someone else who what do we think? Entities who are of a helpful, what do you say, a helpful timber. This lady had a okay. daughter with a... What we'll do is we'll upload it, this one. It's 21 minutes. Oh, it's complaining no connection because I keep switching off the Wi-Fi. Let's do that. I'll upload this one and then see if I can do something better with this one. Something even more inspiring. Allow access, yes. No, I don't want to edit it into a short. The point is, I want it that long. I 
and call it worst video ever done about the belly. It is a challenge and is not impossible. Okay, I'll upload that. I'll put that away from my head. Library, 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 library. Library, 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 watch this video uploading because it's a very exciting. All right, we're here now. It's not the best angle because it looks like you're a five-year-old and I'm a, an adult. You could be five-year-old. Let's see. Ow. What we can do. By the way, I'm sure you've admired my knickers. Yes, I like the cotton ones best. So, so I love the big ones. The problem is they take more space to dry. But they're so comfortable. Oh, big knickers. Okay, we've done the advert for big knickers now. Let's go back to what interests us at this moment. Is the feeling of any possible emotions in my body. First of all, to be able to feel anything, I have to consciously relax the parts of my muscles or bodies that are feeling tense. I am tense most of the time and most of the time I do not realize it. Right now I'm tense where along the side of the right side of the neck. I hold tension in the shoulders and in the chest in this area. In fact, I felt the chest earlier today Like breathing in with the pressure over the throat, uh, which is interesting because it's it's a bit like asthma, but it's not quite that. <sighs> okay, let's relax into this and accept my body not to be scared of any nails, any swollen fingers, actually they are not so bad, they heal so quickly. Urine therapy is brilliant for chillblains. Okay, relax there again, please. Just be there. Be there with me. Oh, I feel definitely tension in, in here. I should take that off, even though I will be cold, just to show where the tension is, as it will be more useful later. Okay, here I feel a tension at the moment. And when I want to breathe in, I feel uh, like something like this. Like a need to inhale, but something pressing it down at the same time. Relax again. 
It's okay to feel tension. It's okay to feel an anxiety in the chest, which is not linked with any visible emotions at this moment. I see a shape like a triangle from here. So how do you do that? Oh, ah. Relax again. There's definitely tension here too. Oh, this tension, what's going on? What are you hiding from me, my dear body? Oh. <sighs> ah, something clicked in my neck, very good. Um. Okay, I still feel heavy. Oh, oh yeah. I do know what. I wish I had the touch of someone else, a healer, at the moment. Because there's nothing better but a really gentle, nothing hand here. But I can't do that myself, so I don't need to wish for anybody else. I just need to follow the pattern that is given. Ah. And I remind myself again to relax. As my shoulders have that tendency to move upwards. I do feel anxiety, you know, here. It's starting to associate itself to to what? Something about my family, maybe the fear of them dying. I feel a, a guilt as well. A guilt of not writing to them more often. Or not telephoning them more often either. And as I feel this tension in my throat, no, um, chest, I feel a similar tension of, oh, I think it's intestinal rather than uterus, I would say, because it feels there, links exactly with here on this side. Can I breathe into that sensation of sickness, please? And imagine instead breathing in vitality. Vitality and acceptance of what is. Go back to his ah, relax again. Go back to feeling as grounded as you can. Lift his shoulders down, please, and feel excitement to replace the fear 
and any anxiety. This is hard to imagine excitement to replace those. Not impossible. Relax again. As soon as I inhale, these go up and they lock up, they stay up then. Be very aware of those. Oh. There's a lot of work to do on the chest. What about the heart? What does that feel like? Actually, as I focus on the heart, that feels a bit like... Um, it feels a little bit stressed about something. but not managing to do all the work. And I'm asking too much of it and of myself. It's a feeling the heart gives me. I'm asking too much. I'm holding my body now in a craniotherapy type of way, allowing the body to feel the wave of where it wants to go and to let it go there. And at the moment, it's bending towards the left. while it feels like the right wants to stay really rigid and straight. Relax again. There is still tension there, but I would say it's 50% better than it was earlier. I don't feel as restrained, as constricted as earlier. I feel freer. I'm drawing an unfinished triangle above my head. Not for any other reason that it is what I see, so I just follow what I see. drawn a sign I saw this afternoon and it's bringing a lot of joy. I'll show you the sign on the sheet of paper. This one. Now Oh, 
it's so good when I own. It's such a sign of letting go. It's wonderful. I feel less sick in the stomach now. It's still a little bit there, but it's much lessened. Not the stomach, more the guts than the stomach. The stomach feels fine. Actually, there is a little bit of tension in the stomach. Now I focus on it. Of course, all this is made up, so we can just make up whatever feels right at the time. And if we follow what we make up, then our bodies will happily talk to us through that. Well, I'm making it up as in, for those who do not believe in that sort of thing, it's easier if they hear that I am making it up. So keep believing I'm making this up for a show. It's best for you if you do. The stomach feels like it's been a little bit aggravated by something. But it's on its way to finding its balance again, and it feels strong, though. Oh, do you know? When I hold my hand like that and gently move it, focusing on the stomach, of course I feel the pressure of my hand, but I also feel not like a current, but something inside that comes up to the throat a little bit and feels a little bit like pink fairy dust. So I hold my stomach like that for a while till it feels like it doesn't need the attention anymore. And if I feel my ego mind is coming in too much into my hands and I take my hand away because the ego cannot comprehend or do very much with what is away from the body because to it, it does not exist. Nothing is happening according to my ego at this minute. However, the truth is somewhere else, so I carry on what I do. What I could do, you know what? I'll draw this sign that I'm doing right now while I still remember it. And this is what I'm drawing on the stomach. As I came closer, I've started feeling tearful. There is something emotionally there. But I will go back out again because I couldn't feel it. I went too close with my thinking analytical mind and it stopped the tears from carrying on. the sign okay oh I 
difficult on a minute. I've forgotten it already. It's so fast. It's so easy to forget them. I often think they are not meant to be written down, but I will write it down anyway. Yes, I remember it. Four roots. Like that. Voila. And two strings attached here. Oh, hold on. They are roots, not just dangling in here. This is what's coming up. So I'm drawing that. There's more in the stomach than I thought. So I'm staying with it for a while. Stomach, would you like to tell me anything emotional that has upset you? Oh, you're working too hard. Oh, and not sleeping enough. Okay, okay, okay. I get your message. Thank you, stomach. I'm working it too hard. And it's not too happy and... And not sleeping early enough. <sighs> now I feel it's coming to the end with the stomach and I feel like a male energy with it a strong light I know it's obviously yellow this energy center the solar plexus is represented with yellow, but that's what's coming, so thank you for your yellow. Mm. I'm imagining the, the yellow color uh, as strongly as I can in my mind to help it soak up the yellow. Now, since we are in this area, I will go with my left hand onto the liver the left hand because the right hand is tired now. Not just because it's the other side of the body and it might communicate better than with its own side. Liver, what have you got to tell me today? By the way, this is my healing session. I do that every year. So this is once for this year. I'm not doing it again. And I've never done that in front of a video, so please laugh as much as you like because it will make me very happy as laughing is very good for you. Okay, liver please. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ah, I see something like... Um, badminton ball thing. The shape is a ball at the top and two wings. Oh, I'm getting a tingly middle finger as well. Excellent. Yes, I know. This is not entertainment. With all due respect, I owe you, my dear liver. You can be assured of my respect towards you and at this moment and my gratitude for everything you do Ooh, i feel a little pain in the liver as i work on that what is it tension is it something physical is it both une lourdeur a heaviness is coming through My dear liver, please reassure me, me, your parent who's anguished, reassure me, is the fibroid weighing too much on you at night when I turn to my right side? Okay, the signal it's giving me is it's cutting my breathing here. So what it's saying is if I could focus more on the breath or do more breath before bed that the fact that it's being weighted on by the mass would not worry it as much if I breathed more deeply when I am aware and awake. Thank you dear liver. Anything else you would like to tell me about the mass? Tell 
tell me about that supplement I just bought today because you're going to have to process that. The collagen from fish. Is this going to be a problem for the uterus? He said, I don't know, ask the uterus. Okay, we'll ask the uterus later. Thank you for your answer. I'm now looking into my gallbladder, but my analytic mind is scared of looking into it. So I'm holding myself up at the other extreme of my body as far as possibly as possible from the gallbladder, yet bringing myself back with as much kindness and gentleness as I can. My dear mind, there is nothing to be scared about your gallbladder who just wants to talk to you. Dear. That could be the sound of the gallbladder, like a raging puppy. Do you know, with the gallbladder, I get a sensation of dream, a dreaming. Is it about dreaming life or is it about being more present? Let's try to ground, feel my feet stronger on the floor. My bum sitting very uncomfortably on this log. Okay, I think what I'm getting from the gallbladder is it wants more rest. More sleep early, no more poor thing. Look, I'm struggling with that. I was getting to bed early still. I need to do more EFT on it. Thank you for helping me. Do you know, I feel so much healthier in that area. I've eaten a lot of animal fats lately and I'm not as sick feeling as I used to feel two or three years ago, even last year, we had eaten all that. It's fabulous. I can only say the healing and the combo has made that happen and maybe the other plant. Yes, I am aware of wasting people's time because this video is getting very long. But you know what, dear gallbladder? Let us not worry about that and let's hope they will have enough sense to turn off this video and even better, not watch it at all, okay? So I can do this now for myself and get in touch with you as, deep as, as deeply as I can. I'm back to the liver now. My liver is telling me that I am angry towards myself. I'm sorry, my liver, to be angry at myself and us. Do you want more rest as well? Okay, let's go back out. Oh.
There's now a three-pointed, three-sided pyramid. And there's a sign. Mm. Ah. I need to work on some anger. Cabbage would help me, help me, so I need some tonight. Oh, it's so hard to pronounce things properly without talking really slowly. If I talk normally, my T sounds like something else and my D sounds like T's. It's, it's awkward. It's really difficult today to express, but not impossible. So I carry on doing the best that I can. Now what about the intestines? They feel a little bit stressed, mostly to do with the way I live. Mm. Ah. Let's bring both hands in because there's a lot of them. The intestines are responding. Of course it's only a coincidence. That noise would have happened at this time, regardless of my hands, of course. You are right. Go and watch something else. This is not for you. Nice. The symbol of a mountain comes up. And as the mountain opens, Of course, there's a volcano inside. But I was going to say the first time I followed that mountain, I felt something in my uterus. A whole lot of, lot of energy. Ah, I can feel it there. Okay, if you really want to know, there there was 
a pinch of energy just at the very base of where the flesh is there and it went up yes it's going up As I have said before, I feel very much like nothing in the area from my sexual organ at the base, the fleshy parts up into my uterus. If it wasn't for the ball there, I wouldn't even know they're there, and the same with the ovaries. Apparently I've got some. So I would like to connect a bit with the ovaries because I do neglect them. I never have a kind word for them, ever. Where are you, my uterus? I don't even know where you are. Come on, tell me where you are. There's a reluctancy to go into that. But I must get over this reluctancy. There's a reluctancy to accept it for the miracle that they are, the production of the eggs, for the continuation of human race and consciousness. I feel a little bit of tiny amount of pain now linked with the urethra. I'm tiny, so it's linking in there somewhere. Okay, I need to work further on this feeling of neglect and this reluctancy to feel them. Relax, yes, thank you. My thoughts are taking me elsewhere. It's definitely trying not to communicate. Okay, find. Yes, that's better. There's a low self-worth that's hiding into them. Like they're saying, I'm not worth anything to you. I'm not worth anything as a woman who is like this. No, my uterus and, oh no, sorry, my egg-laying machines. My little wood seeds, I forgot your name. Sometimes language gets in the way of communication. I've never valued you, it is true. 
Please forgive me. They are saying to me, do you know that these eggs aren't just there for human reproduction? These eggs can make you create amazing, sparkly, beautiful things. They are your spark. fire's energy. Own us and feel more whole. You do not have to focus on our biological use only. We are not just there for that. Merci. Mes ovaires. As I did that, I felt again an energy at the very base in the fleshy part. Now let's go back to the mountain. I feel very shy about my uterus. The mountain is not giving anything, so I will instead mm. draw what the uterus looks like in books. Try another way. Relax again, relax, relax. Does the feeling of enormousness bring up for you? It's like I can't breathe. Is it you, my uterus, saying that you can't breathe? Mm, let it go, let it go. Let go of the feeling of a breath imagine our mothers of our mothers of our mothers their loving hand Oh, there's so much anxiety there. I'd say it's also linked with here. So the side, not so much right now, just here.
Would you please stop thinking about pork scratchings and please think about the uterus, please? There is some activity again on the fleshy part and a tiny bit above, but nothing in the uterus or the zan. A feeling of a um, fatherly energy. Or masculine energy. Ah, I'm getting something on the left. That is two excited dogs. can relax, you know. Again, the thing it's telling me, my uterus is telling me, work too hard, don't rest or have enough good time. My uterus, at the moment, it's this life. There is nothing else I can do to earn faster and not do so much. Please understand. I know I am stressed about it, but yes, I could change that, couldn't I? I could do it and relax about it. I'm so scared of being scared. Yes, I know that's linked with this as well. Yes. Give me time to breathe, she says. Give me distance to breathe. Okay, yes. Le pigeonnier, je le vois, merci beaucoup. Relax, relax. Que tu sentes le mieux. I see scales, a bit like a some roofs but also like the scale of a snake there might have been a curse in the family or the line at some point on the reproduction aspect and for that i say thank you for the information and i choose to let it go this is symbol here. Thank you for taking it away. Now let's see. Again, I do feel something in the lowest part, just on the surface, but not inside. I see a barricade of wood. Can I please remove it for now to see what's behind? Oh, 
as you must that's so wrinkly and which trembles like this. Oh. No, you don't feel too healthy, do you? You too much. And it says, breathe, please breathe, breathe into me. It's so hard to breathe into you, I don't feel you. Just imagine my wrinkly body, like a shrunk brain or compacted. Yes, I feel something again on the surface, like if it was behind the barricade of wood. Mm -hmm. Please express my mass, please express. Express through the sound if you have anything you can express. And please forgive me if my ego takes it and changes it. Laisse-le, laisse-le exprimer. for a moment. Breathe into it. You feel all purple, little mass. I feel definitely a pulsation at the base. Just at the base I feel it's trying to climb up but all it's doing is spreading at the base. Yeah, which is okay. Oh, I said I was going to leave my hands alone but I'm fiddling with them again. Oh, the lack of respect. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me and forgive myself too. I'm seeing a tree that's just not respected at all. I'm sorry. You know I am. It's not a fault of that. Oh, there's a lot I need to understand still about it. There's so much I have learned from her. 
and thank you for your talking with me today. One hour, one minute. Thank you, my body, for doing what you're doing. I am grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you for these benign chronic issues which you are using to speak with me. Thank you. <sighs> 